Hi, and thanks for joining me again for another Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we teach you techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. In this particular tutorial, we are going to be discussing the scissors, the knife, and the eraser tool. All right, so let's get started. We're going to drag first a rectangle out onto the board. And in this, I'm actually going to explain what we're doing. It's fairly easy and we just need to understand why these tools work the way they do. I'm going to actually click now with the pen tool and drag out a line segment onto the board. I want it to be a stroke so make sure that you have stroke selected and not fill and I'm going to increase this so we can actually see it. Okay so when you have and, and let's just make sure we go down here and we see where our actual tools are in our menu the eraser tool, if we were to click Shift E, we'll find that that's where our eraser tool is. It's about halfway down, and each other tool is underneath there. So eraser tool is Shift and E, scissor tool is C, and there is no shortcut for the knife tool unless you made one yourself. So we're going to start with the eraser tool. Now we're going to see how this interacts on a stroke and how it interacts on a fill. And we're going to swipe across this fill. And you'll notice that when we do that, it cuts the fill in half. Now, if we were to grab this fill with the Move tool, we can now move them as two separate objects. They're no longer the same because they were cut. Or, let's say we go back, and let's say we use that tool again, and we don't fully cut it. Now, we have one singular object, but the path goes into the intersection of where our eraser tool went. Now, if we were to do that with, let's say, the stroke, we can do the same thing, but it's going to cut evenly because it's not a fill. It has to have two endpoints that represent the start and the stop of where the actual eraser tool went. You cannot cut at an angle unless it's expanded through an actual stroke. It will just cut line segments. Like if I go and I do a wavy, funny pattern, it may look like it here, but as soon as I let go, it's just going to cut it in straight vertical parts that's how it works it can't do it unless it's a fill so we could double click on our eraser tool and when we do that we'll get the options to change various aspects of the eraser tool so we can change the angle from negative 180 to positive 180 or in other words 360 degrees total and we could change it also based on random pressure based if we were using a pressure based tablet or pen stylus wheel tilt bearing and rotation same options for these two and that's the roundness and you'll notice it's reflected here or the size now the size we also have an option to do variation like even if we were to click random and random here where we can change the levels of variation you'll notice it'll be reflected in the window so let's say we go to 12 if it's currently at 29 or let's say we go to a lower point so we're at 12 and we change it to 6 that means 18 is the largest and the smallest is going to actually be 6 with 12 as our midpoint now if we were to take our Let's go and click on our eraser tool. Go down to scissor. We can actually click on our rectangle. And this just allows us to break up points in the rectangle according to where we are clicking our scissor tool. Same thing goes for our line segment. And by doing that, it separates the areas that we have that are on our actual line segment. And that is the difference between the scissor tool and let's say the eraser tool. Now, let's go back, because now that we know that the scissor tool doesn't actually cut through an object, but it breaks up line segment points, we can now go to our knife tool. Now, the knife tool is almost like a combination between the two. And by doing that, it doesn't actually cut any space like the eraser tool does, because the eraser tool has size to it. But this allows you to separate the two into separate shapes that connect to each other like a puzzle piece. And let's do the same thing for a line segment. Let's get that, let's cut through. And you'll notice that it has zero effect when we use that. And that's because it only works on fills. So let's go back and let's just do a quick review. Let's click our eraser tool. 
we're going to slide through. We'll notice that it cuts our object, but it leaves a path equal to the size of the actual eraser tool in between the object that's cut. We'll notice that if we use our scissor tool, it only cuts on the outer edges or the line segment of the actual path. So that way it gives us broken up endpoints or anchor points that we can delete or remove. And then we have our knife tool, which will cut through, but keep our object maintained where they fit together like a puzzle piece, the pieces that are segmented. And that's how you use the eraser tool, scissor tool, and knife tool in Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me online, www.theonewillfocus.com, or on all social media at The One Will Focus. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.